fifth grade author, Michaela Tyler, and her grandmother, Ms. Cheryl Greer, have co-authored a book entitled Love 7 in order to promote awareness of bullying and promote kindness in schools. I sit down with Michaela and her grandmother for a special edition of Quentin's Close-Ups. And be sure to download the free Quentin's Close-Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. And listen to this interview next week on iHeartRadio. Well, Michaela Tyler and Michelle Graham, it's so good to meet you all. Same here. It's good to meet you. Yes, no, I really, really appreciate it greatly. Uh, I understand you all co-authored the book, and it's basically coming from Aisha Tyler's uh, article from MyFiNews.com. The headline reads, Fifth Grader Paints New Book, Love 7, to Combat Bullying and Promote Kindness in Schools. But, Kayla, what is it like for you to be an author at, I believe, 10 years old now? Yes. Oh my god. What is it like to be you these days? Um, I'm really busy and but I really um, liked it because a lot of people have been like saying um they wanted to get my book also yes. and they um really enjoyed it. Oh that's great to hear. And Miss Miss Abrey, what is it like for you to co author this magnificent book with your granddaughter? Oh, it's wonderful. It's probably a once-in-a-lifetime experience, yes, uh, and I just appreciate the opportunity to be able to do it. Uh, I had no idea we were going to do a book when we started last February, wow. but when she showed me her characters, wow. they were just so powerful, I just said, Michaela, we need a platform. Yeah. And she said, what do you mean? I said, we need a platform. Sure. We need to do something with these characters. Right. like." write a book. She said, like a real book? I said, like a real book. So that's when we started in February of last year. The book came out in October of last year. Wow. What has that process been like as far as putting this book together from February up until last year? Okay, the process was probably a bit more complicated because we did it together. Right. And I'm in Atlanta and she's in Charleston. So there were lots of visits both between us to Atlanta right. and here. Yeah. And I'm here for a lot of things. I feel like I'm a part of the family at Flower Town Elementary. Right. We go there for all kinds of programs, etc. But we were constantly on the phone also talking about what do you want to put here? What do you want to put there? Do you want to change this? And then I gave her the manuscript to yes. take to her then fourth grade teacher who she was so close to and she went through the book with the manuscript with Michaela so it was a long process but it was a fun process and if I had it to do again I'd do it again. Yeah. And Michaela what was it like for you? It was really fun because I enjoyed it a lot when, but sometimes like whenever we would go back and forth sometimes it would be a little bit confusing mm. but I really enjoyed doing that. And I know that your mom wrote this, she says this quote, one local fifth grader is on a mission to build positive character traits in kids and ways on how to fight bullying in schools. What is it like for you to see bullying in schools, particularly in elementary school these days? I see whatever, like bullying, I see like people, like it doesn't have to be just like hitting each other, like some people are just saying mean things on like, um, on TV or like when you're texting people right. or like just like it doesn't have to just be like hitting or anything but when I see that I don't really like like I think it's like really like kind of like sad that they're doing that and I feel bad sometimes for the other person that is getting And Ms. Greer, what was, what's, what's it like for you? Uh, you? You're an elder. What is it like for you to see building these days, particularly in 2019? Bullying has always been around. I understand that, but not to this degree. I don't like bullying. I didn't like it when I was growing up, and I still don't like it. But we have so many other forms, as she said, the social media. Right. People saying mean things on social media. There are so many ways now to bully. We actually did a presentation on the book at her school, and we talked about primarily the physical bullying, the cyberbullying, and the verbal bullying, just calling people names. And those are things that before she ever showed me the characters, Michaela would tell me, 
I have a problem when people say this to other people or when they are mean to other people. She has a very kind heart. And she does not like to see other people bullied. Or she doesn't want to see people saying negative things to them. So she would share that with me. So I knew how she felt about it. And I just got on the bandwagon with her. It, initially, it was, let's just put this out and get a platform. But now it has been, I'm very passionate about it. It has become like a mantra with us because I see how passionate she is about it. Right. So it's like, let's get these books out. I want to get them into elementary schools. We want to get them into children's hands. We want it to make a difference. We don't want this book to be a paper tiger type of thing where it's out there, but it's, it's having no effect. We want it to bring about a change. Well, not be a utopia, but we just want to bring about some type of a change. And I know that, Michaela, obviously, you know, you created, I believe, well, when you were nine, you created seven characters with positive personality traits and named your book, obviously, Love Seven. Now that you are 10, what character trait would you add to this particular book if you could? I would add, like, I would add, like, kindness more mm -hmm. into the book because it, it talks about, like, not bullying and, like, being kind and it has some situations in the book that um, can show you how to be kind and I just think and sometimes people also need to be grateful in the book. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I agree. And obviously if you look at one of those characters, which one of those characters would you be friends with to help them with their situation? I would be friends with love or Pixie. Oh yes. Oh yeah, I know you said that Pixie is, low, is loyal and creative and DJ is fun to have around and funny and love is athletic and there was everything and that's when everything gets tough. Who else would you want to be friends with in this book? I would want to be friends with May oh. and um Candy cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, I like that. And I, I know your principal, Teresa Kelly, says this about you. She says that, that your abilities to put dots into a book at a young age is special. I know that obviously you said that I am creative, I'm loving, and I'm helpful. How else would you describe yourself now? Um, I would describe myself as caring and I'm loyal to other people. Other people. What is it like for you? I mean, these days, obviously you are a 10-year-old kid, you're an elementary school student, but now you're also an author. Tell me about you. What's what's it like to be you? It, um, I really, I really enjoy it a lot. And I honestly think it's very fun to do different things with different people. Sure and learning new things while doing that. Mm -hmm. Mom, I asked her, obviously, the characters in the book, which one of the characters would you like to be friends with and try to help? After putting, after we did all of the work, I think I am friends with all of them. <laughs> but I, 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 I have a respect for every character and the character trait they represent. We find that many of her friends and her peers they gravitate towards Candy Cane Cat because he's the transformer. He's the one that everybody goes to to say, how do we want to handle this situation? Right. But I, 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 for different reasons, I just love each one of the characters. When she showed me the characters, that's what drew me in. I looked at them and she told me about their traits. Right. And it was like, they're speaking to me. So I, I love all of the characters. What else is speaking to you these days when you think of bullying and particularly this book? What's speaking to me? I don't like no. I don't accept no. Mm -hmm. We're on a mission. She's not the only one. I'm supporting her on this mission. Sure. Our mission is to get this book into as many children's hands as possible. And as her teacher said during an interview, I think if parents and adults read the book, they will find, you know what? I'm, it, my kids emulate what they see 
more than what I tell them. And that's one of the points that we make in this book. We want parents to read the book with the children and to understand you can make a difference. They're emulating what you see when you drive down that street and you call that person that day, they hear you. So you can make a difference. So we would like to get the book into as many children's hands and as many elementary schools as we possibly can. That's our mission. And I know obviously you too, you said this too, quote, when she showed me her drawings, I was like, wow. And I thought, what kind of platform should I use? I said, you know what, Michaela, we need to do a book. And she said, like a real book. And I said, like a real book. If you go, if you could go beyond a book, what else would you do to basically alarm people about really building it all over? You know what I do, my vision would be? My vision would be to take those characters because kids gravitate, they're colorful. Right. To take those characters, we have a lot of cartoons and things that are negative. People don't think about all of the violence and things that are involved in children's cartoons sometimes. I'd love to see those characters portraying positive character traits and behavior in cartoons that we put in schools or that Disney even puts out there. I'd just like to see it because there will never be a utopia. I have that. But we can still make some difference if we can reach a lot of people. And you also said this too, the response has been amazing because of the content talking about social issues, building it, compassion, disrespect, respect, respecting teachers and authority, so the response has been very good. Talk to me more about these social issues that people really are having problems with right now. All you have to do is pick up the paper every day, turn on the news every day. We hear, see, and feel the impact of social issues. And what we need to understand is it takes all of us, it's like a puzzle. And each person is a piece of that puzzle. And we have to play our role and our part to hopefully help that puzzle fit into whatever else is going on in life. This is about at home. It starts at home. It starts with the parents and with the children. And if we see positive things and we hear positive things, we take those positive things with us into the classroom. We know how to respect the teacher. It's about respect. I grew up in a time when the things that we see in terms of disrespect today, it would never happen. Because someone else would discipline you and say, okay, sit down right now. Because we're not going to allow you to act like that. I know your parent. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that we're too liberal. We have too many, everybody needs to have the freedom to say, do, and whatever. And we need to be sure that we keep in mind it's okay. But you need to respect everybody else's rights, their right to be whatever. But you also need to respect the teachers. You need to respect the authority. You need to respect your parents. I hear and see how some children interact with their parents. It's horrible. But when parents allow that, that child also feels they can go to school and disrespect the teacher or the principal, or they can disrespect whoever else there is in their life in the community. So we just want people to be respectful. And Michaela, she talked about parents. What would you tell your parents now that you have written this phenomenal book? Um, I would tell my parents to um, be caring more. And I just really enjoyed uh, writing this book because it shows actually what happens nowadays and um, how you can fix that. And I just really, really liked it. And I know obviously you interact with a lot of students on a daily basis. You have a lot of friends as well. What would you tell them if they were accounting, accounting something such as bullying? I would, um, I would like tell them like things that would be good if you stopped to do that and um, ways that could help them to stop doing that. And Let's really get back to you. What do you want to do next besides book and you know getting all these books into many hands and schools as possible? What's your next mission? 
But let me go back to what sure. you asked, the question you asked her, because one of the things that I was so impressed with, and her teacher mentioned, was when Michaela saw people mistreating somebody else, she stepped in, she corrected, and she, and I'm not sure if she completely understood the question, but she has corrected people, I understand, who would not be nice to other people. That's her nature. That's how she is. Uh, where do we go from here? Wherever God takes us. Yeah. yeah I love that. I love that. Well, uh, Michaela Tyler and Michelle Greer, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with you. We appreciate you having us. Anytime. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much.